Unlike your average four-door family sedan, the sports cars moving through these doors fetch better prices the more classic they get. It's a dream business for mechanical engineer Brian Webb and investment car specialist Gareth Crosley. In your wildest dreams, did you ever think that your vision would grow into something this spectacular? It began more than five years ago when Brian and I first met. I was retailing uh, luxury sports cars and um, he used to come in with his family every Saturday morning. Through a mutual passion for classics and sports cars, we thought there was a need to cater for the enthusiasts and have a, a social gathering. With such a vast collection of cars, how do you choose what makes the cut? That's the difficult part in this business. When you're a dealer in a, for a new vehicle brand, the cars get sent to you, you pay for them, they offload them. We have to go find them. And, and it's constantly chasing. It's very much like you see on the television uh, in these American series where people literally chase after them. You get a lead, you follow it, you jump on a plane and you, you go look. Streamlining the search for buyers, sellers and enthusiasts in a single venue, it's styled along an industrial modern theme, which is where architect Ali Kamali came in. Oh, nice wheels, brother. Thank you very much, Aiden. She's a real beauty. What year is it? She's a 1973, and I've been driving her as my daily runner for the last 10 years. I mean, in a place like Cape Town, it's such a privilege. We've got some of the most beautiful roads in the world. So I'm a very lucky man. Would you like to jump in? Yeah, for sure. Fantastic, come in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this, huh? Fantastic, there we go. Oh, wow. It helps having an architect who's a fellow petrol head. Aiden, this is a very rare rev counter. Yeah. Of course, rev counters usually go up to 6,750. Because this is a racing car, the rev counter in this, the red starts at 7,250. <laughs> Since Ali redesigned the building, it's become a popular venue for filming commercials, holding fashion shows, and of course, selling classic cars. Ali, this is quite a space. How would you describe the architecture? This is a, a building from the 1920s. It was built as a warehouse. I mean, it's spectacular when you look at the beams and the trusses and the walls, uh, Brian's son. It took him at least two weeks to get people to clean these brick walls. <laughs> I can imagine. The auto theme extends to the bar of the coffee shop in tobacco-colored leather with red accent stitching, a tribute to the interiors of 1950s Italian sports cars. This coffee shop is quite central to the layout and there's such beautiful details in this design. The leather bar cladding and these gorgeous lights. The lighting is by Porky Heifer, the renowned South African artist. Uh, we're very proud to have his lights. And uh, the leather bar I'm very proud of. Uh, it's, it's aged beautifully, it's a lovely texture, lovely color, lovely touch. Uh, the red Ferrari stitching, I'm very, very proud of. It's beautiful. It's one of the features that really makes Crosley and Webb. Leaving his engineering business in Joburg six years ago was meant to be the start of Brian's retirement. But this passion project has become a full-on enterprise. So Brian, this yeah. floor is so clean. I can eat my breakfast off it. I'm not mistaken, this is the workshop. Yes, this is the workshop, yeah, yeah. When, when we started this business, we felt that it was important to, to have a facility like this because you, you've got to be able to do a technical inspection on the cars. Number one, for your own peace of mind, and, and when you sell the car, the customer wants to know that it's going to be reliable. And that's why we do technical inspections, we do repairs, and we can even go as far as doing full-on restorations. When your supercar is out of its warranty period, it's reassuring to know there's a place which spends all day, every day, servicing and restoring these vehicles. Brian couldn't be in a happier place. Do you have a favorite favorite? I, I have many favorites, but I, <laughs> a favorite of mine is, uh, is the E-Type. It's from the 60s. It's a 3.8 fixed head coupe and uh, a very valuable car and still keeps up with the modern cars. But if you're talking absolute favorite, then it has to be Aston Martin. I grew up 10 kilometers from the factory in England. I spent many Sunday afternoons looking at those cars that were parked outside in those days. And uh, so still today, it's my favorite. So yes, that, that is my brand. Shall we call you Bond? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is the oldest car you've got? 
right now would be the Bentley uh, S1 Continental two door, it's 1957, uh, straight six engine, uh, been beautifully restored. Uh, nice to see a car in that condition, sort of having a second lease of life. And that's what we find with these cars is that every so often you have to rebuild them. Just the ravages of time, not kind to them. And um, it's why we've had really developed that facility to restore them. Being such valuable investments, these vehicles are not so different to works of art which need to be kept in ideal conditions. There are also out-of-town owners who visit the city on holiday and need their classic ride kept in shape while they're away. You've got so many cars on the floor, but this is your showroom within a showroom. What's so special about this area? Well, this division is our luxury vehicle storage, and this is the glass box. It's a climate-controlled vault for cars under our care. So these are for clients that pay us a monthly or annual fee. And from their point of view, the experience is arrive at the coffee bar and your car is ready. Why would you want to control the climate? In terms of the longevity and um, especially at the coast, uh, the humidity is a factor. Keeping it dust free is a big factor. Uh, we've got a detailer on site as well that makes sure the paint is always in the best condition. So those factors are the best condition for a car. Well, my friend, there's only one thing left to do wear those keys. Ah, freedom. <laughs> <laughs> the perks of being a top billing presenter allowed Aiden to live and drive the dream for one beautiful day at least.